So I haven't had an update because I've just been in pain. I have not posted a new video because I really haven't had any updates to share with anybody other than I'm practicing weight bearing. I, I don't know if I'm in frame. The reason I'm posting today's update is because I actually today for the first time took steps without my crutches. I'm not supposed to do that, so don't tell my physical therapist. But I was just, I wanted to see what my body could handle. And it's not like a fluid step, it's just, I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> that might not be a big deal to a lot of y'all, but that is a huge deal for me. I have not been able to bear weight on this leg like the pain has just been too much and now like i feel a slight pinching and it scares me like it's in my head it scares me but i'm getting i'm just seeing progress like i feel like it just does not hurt as bad I'm distributing distributing my weight evenly between both my legs so let's try this if I keep it engaged it doesn't hurt as bad as if like I if I fully relax it and then try to pick it up it does hurt. so like I will fully relax it now it's relaxed but if once I am relaxed and then I go to pick it up I don't know if you can see the shaking I lost the ball but anyways okay so I picked up my my sea leg on Monday. As far as my limb, um, it's purple because I'm cold right now. It's not getting very much circulation. But physical therapy has me just massaging it. Um, you can see that's kind of really hard right there and stiff. My stoma, the puncture, is really nicely healed. I do have this right here. Like, I can feel it. It feels like part of the abutment, like inside. My skin is really thin right there, but my doctor said not to worry about it. Um, but yeah, that's what my stoma looks like right now. It's really good compared to the first few weeks, first month or so. I've been trying to wear it until it hurts, but you shouldn't do that. Listen to your physical therapist. I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with this. I feel like because I can't describe the pain that I felt that first time I put it on. The first like month I did request an MRI to rule out an aroma because if you're an amputee, you may know a little something about neuromas. I didn't. I didn't know what a neuroma was until I did my research with this pain. And basically a neuroma is, um, it's like a ball of nerves. 
and um, they don't have anywhere to go. They don't have anywhere for their signal to be sent to. So there's a surgery called TMR where they, I don't remember what the acronym is for, look it up, but they can take the nerves and attach it to a muscle so that they have somewhere to go with those signals. And it's supposed to resolve that pain that you feel caused by the neuroma. And so I thought that's what I had because the pain was like, I'm telling you, it was really bad. It wound up just being inflammation in my nerves causing the pain, which is exactly what my ortho surgeon said and my physical therapist said. They told me that they've seen this with every OI patient. It's a uh, pain down at the base of the limb at the front part that they feel when they step and uh, it's normal and it resolves on its own. It can last a while, but it does eventually go away. So I guess that's just what hap that's what's happening with me. I was in denial at the beginning. I will admit like I refused to accept that this pain was normal. Like it was so bad. I didn't feel like I had been been warned about it they told me that you know recovery after stage two this one, this one. which one baby the 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 they told me that this stage two recovery was a lot harder than stage one but my stage one was very very rough and my stage two coming out of the hospital i was okay i stopped taking pain meds before i left the hospital um my recovery seemed great but they didn't specify, I guess, like, it's the recovery, like, the part after you start weight-bearing. Because even when I was practicing weight-bearing, I had my short training prosthesis on, and I would just stand with it and practice shifting weight. Um, and I was only putting, I was only supposed to be putting half of my weight on my limb at that point. So it didn't hurt. I mean, I felt like like a dull sensation that I wouldn't categorize as pain. Um, it was just weird, it just felt weird. But then the pain came once I put on the full leg and I went to put on, to take a, like, to take a step. I thought, I'm gonna put on my leg and I'm gonna take a step and it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna start walking, I won't need crutches because I can balance on my own I'll be fine no the pain was insane like so bad and uh I was I was that you know that very frustrated patient that contacted my doctor and told him like please don't ignore me and listen to me like if if this pain is gonna result in more surgery I might as well get it done now um, rather than have to get it done later down the road. But they kept reassuring me, you know, it's normal, it'll resolve on its own, and I, I was just so thick-headed about it. I didn't want to believe that this was normal. It just hurt too bad. And I saw other OI patients who were just up and walking, they were doing fine. And uh, I just, that's what I wanted, that's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be fine. I wanted to be walking again. So, so yeah, here I am. I am four months post-op stage two. So I am actually seven months since my first surgery. Um, so seven months since I started this journey. Since I very first started in October. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah. <sighs> It's been very challenging. You know, the physical aspect is like that. You can see that. You can kind of control that, that physical pain. Um, you can take pain meds for it. You can do massages. You can do Epsom salt baths. Uh, like any infections, you can get antibiotics for that. The physical aspect of the healing process is one thing. But for me, the hardest part has been, uh, it's just been very very hard to cope and deal with and I wish I would have been warned you go to your pre-op and the doctors are only going to tell you the from the scientific and medical aspect of it um 
if you have any questions. But I think doctors should really think about offering like peer support people to, to their to new candidates um so if they have any questions they can they can talk to them and even if they don't know what questions to ask those peer support people can can just inform them and tell them hey i know everybody's healing and everybody's recovery process is going to be different but these are some things that you might want to look out for because it might happen to you and you don't want to be like me like just completely surprised when it does happen you you want to believe your doctors know what they're doing and what they're saying not because they're they studied it um but because you've heard other patients um testimonies about it so because i i wish somebody would have just told me like yeah that pain it sucks it's really really bad at first but it does resolve listen to your doctors and i know people are gonna be like well you should have just listened to your doctor it's one thing you know you've got these providers that they'll they're well versed based on studies but personal experience is a whole different game so forgive me for doubting my doctors but they couldn't fathom the pain that I was feeling because they're just not in my situation um so that's that's where the doubt came from so yeah here's my update I tried not to drag it out but even if this reaches one set of ears that needed to hear it and it helps then that's the reason for these updates and for myself too to be able to look back you know in the coming months in the year and see just how far i've come because right now um may 2023 me is going through it but I'm going through this now so that May 2024 Joanna is walking with no issue and outside with her kids and doing all the things so I know it'll be worth it and I am going to focus on the goal and taking things day by day and not letting myself just get in my head about the pain that I feel now so Stay tuned for the next update. Hopefully, I will be walking without any assistance. And I might have said this in my last video, but I wasn't prepared. <laughs> now I am.